So I'm headed to Atlanta to go to the Penn Show. Heading out of Goulet Penn's here, I say goodbye to my staff, to Rachel, and I'm gonna go pick up Drew, and we're gonna head to the Penn Show. You ready to go, Drew? I am. Let's do it. Are you? So we got to the airport, and our, our bag's way too much. So Drew and I got to do a little somebody's bag weighs too much. Somebody's bag. No, somebody, yeah, our this bag guy. weighs too much. My bag weighs too much. So uh, we're like we're like sorting out our bags <laughs> to make sure that we can not pay overage fees. All right, Drew, what do we got here? Forty-nine out of fifty. <laughs> like a glove. All right, let's see what mine is. Fifty on the dot. Now we're talking. It's a uh, it's a little little spooky, right? It's a little creepy. Yeah. Brian. What are you uh, What are you doing here? This is uh. Well, I have a back. I have two backpacks. You look like a double-sided turtle. I have two backpacks, but I can't. Uh, I can't wear two backpacks on the back. So this is helping to balance me out a little bit. So I have a backpack and a front pack. I mean, it's effective. <laughs> you, you look like you're enjoying yourself. I am. <laughs> hey. Scott train. Doing this. You capturing me getting footage. All right, so uh, Brian uh, rented us this Bentley, right? You no, know, it's got a B on it, so I thought. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're with yes. uh, Caitlin. Wait, so so we're not getting the Bentley. Uh, I don't know what happened. Oh, I mean, there must have been some confusion at the office. I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk to my boss about it. <laughs> so, what now? Okay, so. Uh, the keys are in the car. Uh, we have no keys. Stereotypical <laughs> screech in the parking lot. <laughs> Help! <laughs> so, Brian, where are we going now? I don't know. You don't know where we're going? In the car. I think we gotta go to a hotel, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. we gotta go to a hotel. <laughs> we gotta go to Cummings, Georgia. First. That's right. I think it's coming. Cummings, Georgia? Or maybe it's Cummings. I think it's Cummings. Oh, okay, too. Either way, we're coming to Cummings. <laughs> yes. How's Brian? Brian's good. Good. Yeah, I love traffic. So I'm just, this is the best. I can tell, I can tell. You seem pretty excited about this. Actually, I'm cool. Did you say you want to have some cashew shots? As you will. Oh! <laughs> Not me, like, being a goofball. Thank you. Oh, wait, my, that's you. That's my egg bites. That's me. Take your cheese, Dana. Chiz. So let's take a little tour around our hotel room. We just checked in after a two and a half hour drive out of Atlanta. It was supposed Too to be long. an hour. Too a lot long. of traffic. Nice bathroom. That's fun. There's Drew. We opted for a suite. Got a nice little coffee area over here. Little hangout for when we had party times. And then uh, Drew and I have separate beds because uh, that's how we rolled. We're not there yet. But it's a nice little area here. All right, Drew. One thing I'm concerned about is there's dog hair on my hoodie that definitely was not there before. Like, oh, I bet. No, corgis don't shed. I don't know if you... Uh, never, ever, <laughs> ever. Okay, right. so... We brought bottled ink, and we wanted to see. I've never All flown right. with Robert Oster's okay. I mean, that's plastic ink. Oh, good lord! Look at that. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, that... it got torn. Seriously. Wow. So this is plastic. So I wasn't super worried about this one. But look at these chunks. It looks like an animal attacked it. And there's nothing. Hmm. Well, you know what? What All else right. do I have in here? I mean, I had some. I had some metal tools in there. Perhaps I okay. should have put those in there. And look at this. This is. This is a glass bottle. This is a Monteverde bottle. Nice. Still got pretty chunked up. Okay, I will not be putting them back in this thing because I have, <laughs> I have like my loop in here and some pliers and. Yeah. That was kind of dumb, but I had this. I thought that might do it. Okay, that yeah. didn't do it. All right, well. Um, and your nice. bottles, you also brought. Some I brought. I brought some problems. plastic. That you, did fine. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. Look at that though. Look, here's another hole. Wow. So you double bagged. I did. Which was intelligent. 
Just so, in case there was a leak. Or Nothing case, leaked, though. But still, if it did, this hole would have leaked. So yep. double bagging was smart. Yep. And you've got some glass bottles here. I got some color bursts, which are pretty hefty bottles. And a bottle of Noodler's Black. I do have a bottle of them. So you look good here. Nice. Yeah, I think you're okay. Awesome. Do you have any, uh, there's a, still a couple holes in this bag. Jeez, what do they do? I don't know. We had pretty heavy bags, so they got tossed around pretty good. Jeez. Do you have any pens inked up? Yes. Have we're you checked gonna, them? We're gonna check those out next. So I purposely brought pens with no consideration whatsoever. Wild man. For the fact we were flying. Because I like to just see how they're gonna turn out. So I just had them in regular pen cases. I didn't particularly pay attention to what was inked and what was not. Uh, I have kind of a variety of different things, and I just want to see. Not everything is inked up. So, yeah, how many of these are inked up, do you think? Uh, probably at least 10 of them. I mean, most of these are. Just um, scattered throughout? Yeah, so I just wanted to open up and kind of check them out. So, Twisby Eco T did just fine. Nice. No consideration whatsoever. It's mostly full, but it was probably sideways. I've got a Conklin Classic. Uh, that did pretty well. No real ink thing going on there. Uh, let's see here. I have a Conklin Duraflex, which uh, also did just fine. You know, I don't even get that in focus, mm, but uh, struggling. Hold on, hang on. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to get that close with it, probably. Yeah. Let's see. I also got. Oh, this has diamond golden sands in it, and uh, fared well. It'd be obvious if it did well. I got a little bit in the cap, I guess, but. Yeah, let's see here. I got a Pelican M120 that is, this should be reasonably full. A couple of drips on the nib. Jeez. Nothing like... These piston this is the thing, did really well. This is the thing is like, everybody worries so much about flying. I gave zero thought or consideration to it. And I was even hoping that I would get some stuff. Um, those aren't inked. Pilot Custom 74, one of my faves. That has a couple of drops in there, but I think that was already there before it flew. So that, that had a little bit of leakage. Uh, but really nothing that a Q-tip wouldn't fix. And then what else do I have inked up? I don't know if my Aurora 88 is inked or not. It is, and it's fine. Like, nice. there's like a little drip on there. I mean, just, I'm almost disappointed that like <laughs> nothing has leaked. Well, let me ask you this. All. Like, do you think that the, that, you know, being concerned about flying with fountain pens is a big deal and a pretty frequently asked question. Like, do you think that it should just not be considered as big a deal as it kind of is? I've flown no less than a dozen times since I've been into fountain pens and trying to get them to leak and have a hard time doing so. There's a traveler's pen that I'm testing out. It's inked up with a cartridge. You got nothing. You know, the thing is, it used to be a problem back when there were like bladder pens, a lot of bladder pens and aerometric fillers and stuff like that. The bladder pens, I think, with large ink capacities are more susceptible to leaking while flying. I just don't see that as much of a problem with modern pens. I just, I really don't see it happening much. The only other pen that I have inked up um, is this one, and it's not, not leaked at all. Actually, I do have two more. I have two Pelican Piston Pens. Pelican Piston Pens! Got it. That I just inked up. So I have my M805 Ocean Swirl, mm. which is fine. There's a little bit of a uh, little bit of drips in there, in the cap. This is probably like the worst of it, and I, I can't really show it to you because you're not going to be able to see it. And then the M600 White Turquoise. Oh, wow. Turquoise White. And I got like nothing. Like a little bit, a little tiny bit of ink up in there, like where the nib meets the grip. And that's really about it. You can't even really see it. It's not okay. worth mentioning. That's it. Great. Nothing. Great. Zero impact whatsoever. Yeah, going back to your uh, bladder discussion, the only time I've ever had one leak was a vintage Pelican that I had, so. I don't think it's much of a thing anymore. Awesome. I got old Mr. Bucky O'Hare. So, Bucky O'Hare was out not long when we were kids, and Drew is the only other person that I know in existence who even knows that Bucky O'Hare ever even exists. Bucky O'Hare was... Ah! Why is these... How can spiders shoot things? Yay! Hi! So Drew and I just sat in traffic for so long and uh, we're getting kind of hungry. We were going to have time to like go to Mark's house first and then uh, eat after that. 
but we might just go straight up eat now. Do we know where we're going? I have no idea. We're taking things like one step at a time. I'm kind of surprised we just got here as seamless as we did, but... It's been, it's been a little weird. Brian's having a hard time understanding what time it is. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like I'm jet lagged, but we're in the same time zone. This is weird because <laughs> I'm all off. there have been a lot of mini chapters from airport yeah. to here. But you know what? We're here. You and I are not like the most detail oriented people in no. our life. So the fact that we got here okay is a testament to I'm those proud of myself. who support us. Yeah. I'm proud of you. For you sure. You did a great job. Thanks, Drew. Yeah, you're welcome. So we're here. We're in Georgia. Atlanta show is going to be happening and we're going to go get some food. I'm about to go for a little morning run. Drew is going to do his shower, and uh, then we're going to hang out with Mark Bacchus for the day. It should be pretty fun. Home for my, home for my morning run here. Basically kind of around a parking lot. But hey, getting the steps in, right? Pancake machine. Pancake machine. Look, it's happening. I can't wait. Do you need all that, Drew? Should I do syrup or just butter? I don't know. You don't want to. You don't want to overdo it. It's true. Just whipped cream. <clears throat> cheers, Drew. Oh, cheers, Brian. Look at your nice coffee. Thanks for coming to right now. I'm just kidding. It's, like, it's not right now. Like riding the I mean, it is right now, but it's not <clears throat> right now. Drew and I are here on day two. This is a Thursday. It is. Drew confused me yesterday because when we went to the car <laughs> in the parking lot, he was like, oh man, yeah, it's pretty crowded for a, you know, it feels weird for a Saturday. And I was like, Drew, it's it's Wednesday. I don't, I don't remember saying that. <laughs> I don't have We were a little idea. loopy after the flight. <laughs> I needed some coffee. I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Well, we got coffee now. We did, we did. And uh, I think last we left off... Where did we leave off yesterday? We shot a bunch of stuff. I don't know how it's going to cut together. But well, basically, we hung out with Mark Bacchus last night. We did. Night. That was so much fun. We had dinner, so that was just kind of a casual thing. Now we're going to be heading over to his his place today. We're going to actually do some kind of nib tuning, nib adjusting stuff. See, see his, his workshop. Technique. That's going to yeah. be fun. And it's cool because the magic happens. Some of his technique is a little bit different than Brian Gray's, so we get to see kind of two different schools of thought around mm -hmm. it which is going to be really cool for us to learn. So Absolutely. Today is a learning day for us. We're going to hang out with Mark all day. Not sure how much he's going to want to be on video. Seems like kind of a, likes to keep to himself a little bit. So we're not going to go like throwing him on much. So I don't know how much we're going to get today, but we're going to try and we're going to do some, some tomfoolery. And we're going to learn some things. Hopefully head to the Buford Dam. See if we can fly a drone. That might be happening. I want to see that happen. Well, you'll see if it happens. Are prohibited in this area. Right, but when they say drones, do they mean like my drone? Uh, because yes. I see that picture and mine doesn't look at all like that. <laughs> uh, yes, they mean they so, mean all drones. I think they mean that drone. That <laughs> drone did something bad here. My <laughs> drone is innocent. Mm. Drew and I came to the Buford Dam here. Uh, we were hoping to fly our drone, but we didn't realize not only are dams a bad idea to fly drones, but it is a uh, it's a federal property, and it is also a hydroelectric power plant, so probably pretty frowned upon for drone activity, but anyway, got to see a nice little icon here uh, in Georgia.
Now I'm here with the Bacchus family at Q Barbecue, a local hotspot. We're gonna eat some genuine Georgia barbecue. Your sandwich looks good, buddy. I've got a plan. I've got a plan of attack. <laughs> So Drew and I are a little disappointed because we were not able to fly a drone today at the dam, but we are still determined to fly a drone today. All right. So I haven't used this controller before, so not really sure how good I'm going to be at this. There's no better place to test it. No, than no. A hotel what you want to do at 10 o'clock at night. Right. You want to do it in a uh, small, confined space. Yep. With no one nearby. With property that isn't yours. Yeah, exactly. So I think if I hold my sticks down like this, it starts. Okay. And then I go up. There we go. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than ever. Wow. We're gonna try this again. It sounds like. Don't just look at me. <laughs> is it okay? It's a, oh yeah, I mean it's only falling like three feet, so that's true. We're good. That's one more time. There. Go ahead, man. Oh, so you don't have to crash it to land it every time? No, I don't only I do thought that that's for how fun. You land, I thought that's how you landed it. No, just for a comedic effect. <laughs> right. Yeah. So the drone thing was fun. Yeah, it was in, fun. In retrospect, I didn't think about the fact that there is like the the little spigots for the the like fire uh -huh. sprinkler system. Yeah. If you would hit that with the drone. We might have set off the sprinkler. So yeah, we're like, not going to think about that, though. That's pretty stupid, kids. You should not do this at home. There was nothing intelligent about any of this. But I hope you enjoyed it. We should we should know better than this. We do. We do. Sorry. <laughs> so well, that was that was a day. That was a good day. We did some things. Hung out with Mark Vakas all day. We did. Flew a drone in our hotel room. Into a window. Went to see the dam. We did see the dam. Ate some barbecue. Ate was, a lot of barbecue. It was really good. Really solid day. Tomorrow, we're leaving Cumming, Georgia, and we are going to be heading to Atlanta for the Atlanta Pen Show. So we will know we'll be going instead of coming. <laughs> we already came to coming, and now we're going well to done. going. Well done. Well done. not. So we're going to get some sleep <laughs> after unloading some video footage onto the computer. Oh, yeah, maybe playing some video games, but yeah. now. But eventually we will sleep. So we'll see you all tomorrow. Mañana. Ah! All right, Drew and I all wrapped up here in Cumming, Georgia. Wrapped up. We are going to be heading to the Atlanta Pen Show. That's right. Let's go. Okay. Drew? Hey. Let's go to Atlanta. Let's do it. Drew, where are we? Uh, this is Dutch Monkey Donuts, Brian. I don't know anything about this. We've heard good things from the Bacchus family about this place. Apparently they were on some kind of reality TV show about donuts. And they won, I, and they I won. think, or did very well. I'm not allowed to eat donuts right now, but it's an award-winning donut place on our way to Atlanta. We can at least smell them. Or I can eat them. He can eat them and I can watch. <laughs> Is that weird? This Buttercream We're here at we the are. Atlanta Pen Show. We made it, Drew. I'm super excited. And the trip was so much faster than I thought it would be. It really it was. It went like that, you know? I was but, excited. Uh, anyway, so we're going to walk around the show for a little bit, get set up. Can't check into our hotel room yet, but uh, we already ran into some, some pen friends. 
It's really cool. I like the pace of the Atlanta show. This is totally different than DC. It's not as crazy. No yeah. one's ramming into you. So it should be fun. But anyway, we'll check in with you later. Nope, nope, not that. Okay, there we go. Green beep. Nope, not gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna get in here. And then there we go. What do we got here? We've got a room, we've got some beds. We've got a balcony so we can see public. You got a balcony? Yeah, look at that. Nice. And a desk for the Ooh, office. Ooh, so we can get all our office done. More importantly, fancy glasses for our Nestle Pure Life. I hope that's complimentary. No. $59.99 a bottle. I'm water. I see you with a bright halo around you. That is always there because of my innocence. Let's check out the balcony. Oh, it's like a one huge We balcony. have to share this balcony? I my no, own. this is all ours, Drew. Uh, I think, Drew. Um, I think Starbucks is good. I'm glad that's there. There's a Starbucks right there. There's a Waffle House right next to us. Even better. I think we'll do okay. Yeah, Waffle House is all I need. So Drew and I are just going to get settled in here. We've already uh, checked out the show a little bit so far today. Yes. We just got into our room, though, and this room is pretty all right. So we're gonna go hang out downstairs. Did you see the sign they made for me? Uh, it says breakfast please. Yes, and I'm gonna wear it around my, around my neck because let's be honest, there's never a time where I don't want breakfast to be brought to me. There's no wrong way to breakfast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Drew and I are just uh, brewing up a little coffee. We're gonna head down. Uh, we did the show today. Actually, didn't vlog that much because I was talking to people so much. But uh, Drew, you got your coffee there? I do. This is Wolfgang Puck's finest. It's a reserve. Reserve. Yeah. This is gonna be really it's good. Reserved only for the finest of uh, Atlanta hotel look at rooms that. here. Windows. Mm, um, burning my fingers. <laughs> nice. Uh, but we're going to head down, we're going to do our little meetup, 8.30 meetup, um, and then we are going to go to bed because it's been a long day. Good morning, Drew. Hey, Brian, how you doing? Uh, we stayed up until 2 o'clock in the morning. Really? Roughly. That's when I went to sleep. You oh. went out a little bit before I did. I think it's like a button for me. Our voices are kind of low. I think the pollen here in Georgia oh, yeah. is getting to us, but we're going to be heading down to the main day, Saturday, so we're going to be doing the show all day. Doing the Pen Addict podcast live broadcast thing, ticketed event. Should nice. Be awesome. And Do then we have tickets? Uh, just hanging out. We got tickets. Yeah. We're good. We are ticketed. So we're going to hang out and uh, show you guys the show today. I'm pretty tired. We just went to the show on Saturday, had our little meetup, which was awesome. Got to hang out with some cool pen folks. I really haven't actually looked at many pens this go around. How about you? No? Uh, no. It's pretty much about the people here for us. Yes, which has been exhilarating. It's been awesome. But we're gonna rest up now. We have the Pen Addicts podcast that we are attending, and then we're gonna get some dinner. So, enjoying it, having fun, but we're gonna rest our little toesies. Drew and I are in line here for the Pen Addicts podcast. They're doing a live podcast, and they uh, have tickets for everybody to be able to watch it as it's broadcast. They do this every year at Atlanta, bringing over Mike Hurley from the UK. So it's a pretty cool event. Kind of a neat little thing for us to be a part of. Do you have the tickets? I do. Presents. I think you guys are okay. Come on. In. Okay. We're <laughs> legit. Thank you. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, I missed you getting it. So <laughs> Oh, just missed it. So Brad's super sweaty here, and uh, you're giving away t-shirts to everybody. Can you explain what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, so when you go into business for yourself and uh, you make the jump from leaving your, your corporate world, you want to try to do a few, have a few different sources of income, income. and so like having like a little swag shop for the pen addict, great idea, right? T-shirts sell super well. It's easy, right? T-shirts are simple. So... I picked a local printer, we had the design, we got the shirts, they came back. I hated them, the print didn't come out right. He redid them, the second time didn't improve. So oh, I've been no. sitting on three three boxes of t-shirts for two and a half years. And they're big, there's I'm like not gonna 50 sell. t-shirts in each one like, of these things. I, like Brian knows, you sell good quality. Yes. I was not comfortable selling these shirts to my fans. Fair enough. So I've hoarded them in the closet, taking up space. So my wife said, you better get rid of these shirts. Get rid of them, you go to the show so, and you don't come back if you have those shirts. Yeah. So at nice. the, uh, after the podcast event, I actually forgot. Uh, so I just went and got them out of the car. So we're having wow. a t-shirt feeding frenzy in here. So. Nice, awesome, you're a good man, Brad. So, yeah, so. Uh, Generous to the people. Uh, pay attention to your t-shirt vendors, kids. There you it's go. It's important. That's right, quality <laughs> Oh, yeah. Which the trick is to kind of hit it on your finger rather than just like slinging right. across the room because otherwise you just end up painting the walls with ink. So, and you just kind of do that. So, it's really almost like this kind of paintbrush. Wow. Yeah, I'll lay down. Yeah, so that's a ruling pin on the phone. Well, I mean. Alright, it's 2.15? Two, like 2 15? 15? Yeah. AM. Time to start our day. No. No. We're ending, winding down. Uh, really good day. Saturday was Wonderful. great. Awesome meetup today. Got to go to the Pen Attic podcast, which was really cool. And then basically we just hung out. And talked pens for like eight hours after that. Like, but solid talk, like really good, solid oh, yeah. conversations. Robust, I guess, is a good word. Absolutely, get a lot of good feedback on our site and just different things that we have going on. Just talking to different people that have cool projects. Got to you know, meet Matthew Morse and do, play with some folded nibs and stuff like that. Just really, a really lot, super cool. a lot was packed into that. Really, it was awesome. fantastic. Yeah, we're so, going to spend a couple hours tomorrow at the show, and then we're going to head out. And my so. brain needs to sleep as much as my feet do. Absolutely. So, Drew, you ready to go to bed? I am. All right. Good night. Hey, Drew. Hi, Brian. Why do you have uh, thumbs stuck to your face there? What are you talking about? Nothing. Yeah. Everything's normal. Cut myself shaving this morning pretty hardcore in the shower, and this is just a little... Little life hack. Life hack. Life hack. Yeah, when you cut your okay. <laughs> life hack. It's like one of the first things I remember my dad like teaching me like man stuff. Like you can cut yourself shaving, you put a little toilet paper. I did not um, shave today, so I'm hobo in it. Yeah, you definitely look a little scruffy. But uh, it's Sunday morning here. Super tired, got like five hours of sleep. Ah, maybe. But we're so energized. We're just gonna packing up our stuff. We're gonna head back down to the show for a couple hours uh, in the rain. And then we're going to uh, go to the airport and go home. It's raining? It's raining this morning. It's a lot colder. It's like 20 degrees colder than it was yesterday. Fine that. Indeed. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let's do it. Later. Sunday morning hand around shows. This is the face. <laughs> <laughs> Hang in there, man.
no, we could have. So sad. We had like epic shots, of, like jumping over the thing. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. <laughs> Photo bombing the camera. What's up, Brad? <laughs> Take, taking the show to a whole new level. <laughs> Always all the way from the car with the coffee. <laughs> True. That was that. That was the Atlanta Penn Show. We are now heading out. It's a rainy day, but we're gonna try to catch lunch at the Varsity. Is it the Varsity? I think it's the Varsity. Cool. We'll find so that's out. That's what we're gonna do. But anyway, it's been an awesome Penn Show. It's been amazing. It's been great to see everybody here. Oh and, my god. Uh, let's go hit the road, man. Yes. Let's hit the road. Yeah, but the grip second was the thing they really just liked. Is this it? Just go in here. Uh, yes. Drop of water just landed right on my head. There it was. It was we're at the varsity. We're in the parking deck of the varsity, and uh, we're gonna go inside and get yelled at, apparently, and eat hot dogs. Let's do it. Yes! than I thought there would be. I was just thinking like, yes, hot dog please, but there's, there's just sandwiches and chilies and onion rings. And... We're gonna be terrible. Oh yeah. Before we get on a plane. Uh, this is great. Drew, I've never eaten at a desk before. Uh, I've never eaten a meal at a desk. I've never eaten two chili dogs at a desk. Have you ever That's eaten good. a triple cheeseburger at a desk? No. All right, let's go, what we got here? All right, this is Brian's. Brian so, has chosen the uh, I'm full, full cheat on my diet triple bacon cheeseburger. Yeah. Like, just really take that in. Yeah. Look at that. It's like the meat just cannot even stay together. Yes, indeed. And I got the uh, classic orange frosted yeah, milkshake. Yeah, frosted orange. And Drew, what'd you get? Uh, apparently, I got a, a, a fry boat on top of some uh, very moist, papery chili cheese dogs. Nice. Uh, let's just. <laughs> all right, there it is. Oh, oh that's mustard. Oh, 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 look, how, look how fine that chili is. It looks like. I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> anyway, I'm eating it. Awesome. One thing about me and uh, hamburgers, cheeseburgers really, because that's all I do. I don't like to have ketchup on the cheeseburger. I like to have it on the side, and then I dip my cheeseburger into it just like I, feel I like would a french fry. I feel like I've done this That's how I do that. So I do this, I'm gonna give it a little dip, and then, mm. All right, Drew, what'd you think? I mean, I feel like I can still go downstairs. I did all right. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I can, I'm not mobile. I thought, I, honestly, I thought your chili dog looked slightly disappointing. Oh, it's gonna ah. rain. Oh, let's go. I thought your chili dog looked a little disappointing, but uh, it was a little disappointing. But yeah. we we didn't go here being like, oh, this food's gonna be the best ever. It was yeah, like, it's for the experience. Yeah, it's an experience. It's it's in Atlanta. Uh, What'd you call it? Staple. Staple. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, been there, done there, got the t-shirt, literally. Weight. We 
like to carry a lot. I like to carry a lot. And uh, gotta be under 50 and we're good. Oh, hey, Drew. Oh, hello. Thanks for seeing you here. Rocking the backpack and the front pack. That's how I roll. Airport Brian. Rocking the front pack. Thank you. As in, as in one bueno. Alright. We're on the wrong floor. This ramp. It's not up there, Drew. It's down there. We just walked all the way up. We didn't walk all the way up. This ramp. Not all the way up, almost all the way up. Now we have to walk all the way down. No, we don't. Around. No, we don't. And then come all the way back down over here. Wait. That goes under, what? So, it's like an optical illusion. Are we? <laughs> True. These bags are like 50 pounds. How does That's this, con like, how does this connect? Me. Let's do it. Nice. Movie magic. Aha. All right, Drew. All right, here, let's, let, let's, just, let's just make it clear. You wanna wrap it up? Well, Should we, we wrap it up? Well, you were pretty quick to say Drew thought he saw the car. So let's just, let's just make sure that okay. Everybody knows Drew did not make a mistake. Drew did not make a mistake. The car is there, but Drew, I apologize. We're, I accused you of being wrong, and I was I was not. Now, now, now. To be fair to you, we did not know that we were in an MC Escher uh, <laughs> style parking garage. So Indeed. Now we know. <laughs> Either way, that uh, seems like a fitting end to our trip. One last shenanigan. Uh, oh, it's it, it's on theme for sure. <laughs> Indeed. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this vlog of our trip to Atlanta. Drew and I are gonna go back home and relieve our darling wives <laughs> from caring for our children who've been up to their own shenanigans the whole time that oh, we've yeah. been gone. So oh, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and right on.